Wow. This taste reminds me of my last summer when my friend was here with his family. And trust me, when I served him this recipe, he was blown away. And every single day he stayed here for seven days, believe me or not, I served him this dish each day. And he and I believe all my friends out there in India and relatives will really enjoy this. Let's begin making this beautiful guacamole. For guacamole, we'll need avocados, onion, green chili, cloves of garlic, cilantro or parsley and we have some few spices, salt, cumin powder, black salt and finish it with a lemon. So for this recipe, we'll take three avocados. We need to make sure the, the avocados are like ripe and they are not too hard or either too soft. And this is how we need to cut the onion into very fine, finely chop them. So I'll show you a trick. Make sure we don't cut till, till the end. And then we also kind of, and be sure we don't cut your hand here, you know, be very careful about this. And we just want to make an extra right, slice here. Now, we hold your fingers inside and then we start. And then I've used half onion here. Depending on the size of your onion, you might have to vary it. Too much onion can spoil the dish and make it like very strong and sharp. We don't want to ruin the, the original flavor or of the avocado. So we need to just make sure we don't overdo this. Next, we're gonna finally cut the green chili. Depending on, you know, who is eating. If your kids, make sure we don't really put too much of chilies. I'm gonna put like one fourth here because this is a very strong chili. So I'm gonna take off the seeds, thinly slice them and then chop them finely. As small as possible because if it's, they are strong and really Okay, so we have our green chilies chopped. Now I'm gonna use two garlic cloves. Cut them again very finely, as fine as possible. This gives a great flavor to this whole dish. One very key ingredient is the green cilantro. Uh, we will use maybe around seven or eight of the sticks. We'll cut off the stamps. We'll use the leaves. For cutting the leaves, we're gonna just roll them as close and strong possible. We'll throw all of them in the bowl. All our onions, garlic, and green chilies are in here. Now we're gonna cut the avocado. Now, there's a technique to do this. We just need to cut it across from the very center. And then give it a twist. This has come really nice, it's green, it's not overripe. Uh, and then what we need is also to take off the seed. To take off the seed, insert the, the knife in it and then twist it. To further scoop them out, the, the whole flesh out of it, the fruit, we'll use a, a thin spoon to take this away very easily. See how easily it comes out.
okay in goes the three avocados you would have noticed i have also put in the seeds inside which is something i'll talk about now we'll throw in uh, the spices i'll use half teaspoon of salt i'm using a himalayan salt and i'm going to use half teaspoon of cumin seeds cumin seeds uh, this is like cumin seeds roasted and then crushed it gives a very nice flavor i'll use 1/4 teaspoon of uh, black salt right we should be adding lime here uh, but i don't have it i'm going to use a lemon instead i'm going to use uh, these two forks here okay and i want or i like is uh, like a little bit the chunky uh, avocado or guacamole so i'm not a, not going to use a masher here uh, we're going to do is just use a fork to break them down into small chunks and mix them well So this is the kind of consistency I need. So our guacamole is ready. And yes, I talked about the seeds. I'm putting in the seeds here. You know why? Yeah, so the seeds really help them to not oxidize the guacamole. Otherwise, they will turn black uh, very soon. So if you put the seeds, somehow this trick really works, and they remain greener, fresher for a longer time. So put the seeds in, cover it with a lid or a cling wrap. just to avoid any any contact with oxygen that way it will stay for longer and your friends will really be, be amazed with this beautiful dish okay so let's taste the salt and the tanginess is awesome that's how i like some people like it more tangy can i have more lemon inside you know very according to your taste buds yeah but don't overdo the garlic and onion it's really going to ruin the flavor the beautiful flavor of the avocados Okay so let's plate it and serve it with the chips I usually have this nice beautiful amazing healthy chips out here which are multi grain tortilla chips they go very well with this So Time to enjoy. Right? Mm. It's so creamy. Smooth. Tangy. Nutritious. Oh, very healthy. No guilt. I take this all the time. And sometime with a beer too. So To hope you enjoy this. Okay. Dobara bolo yaha dekho. Last year, yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Last time you were here, you have seen it. Hey, welcome, friends. Happy. One, two, three. Welcome, friends, and welcome. Oh, sorry. Hello, friends, and welcome back. Hey, guys. So, I hope you like this recipe. Do give it a try. and let me know your feedback smash a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel have a great day